Hello, Pisces. Random Mike here, gonna play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Appreciate your time, Pisces. I appreciate you hitting that old like button while you're thinking about it. Thank you. Hitting that subscription button if you haven't done that yet. Thank you for all your support. I appreciate your support. It's very kind of you. Definitely want to shout out. Big thank you to all my Pisces that have blessed me with donations. Many of you. Very kind of you. I appreciate them all. Large or small. Pisces, if you've blessed me with a donation, thank you. And of course, a big shout out. Big kiss to all my Ramblin' Nation members. I love you guys. Appreciate you. Your continued support month after month. Thank you again. Uh, lots of perks with being a member of Ramblin' Nation. One of them is that if you got a YouTube channel, I'm happy to shout you out. I'm going to shout out some members right here. If you'd like me to shout you out, hit that join button. Here we go. First one I want to shout out is Jen TV Tarot. Love you, Jen. I think your channel is absolutely amazing. I'm glad to see that your sub count continues to rise every time I look at your channel. That's because you're good at what you do. Anyway, if you don't know who Jen is, you're missing out. Jen TV Tarot. I also want to shout out Charity with Aquarius Rising Tarot. Another amazing reader. I like uh, Charity a lot. Um, she reads um, Twin Flame, Soulmate, uh, Life Partner, Divine Relationship Readings, whatever we're calling them this week. You know, there's something going on around here. You know, it's different. But anyway, she's really good at those uh, Divine Relationship Readings right there. And I want to shout out uh, Ariel. Love you from Dragon Tail Tarot. And again, if you don't know who Ariel is, you're missing out, man. You're missing out if you don't know who any of these ladies are. And I encourage you to check them out. It's Gen TV Tarot, Aquarius Rising Tarot, and Dragon Tail Tarot. Check them out. Give them a like. Give them a subscribe. You know, what else is, uh, you know, a perk with R Rambler Nation is that every Wednesday night we have... We have our Wednesday Friends Day members only live readings. More smaller, more intimate group. It's fun, man. They're super fun. Next one that's coming up is July 1st, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Wednesday night. And you know, we give away a whole bunch of stuff, man. Got winner, winner chicken dinner shirts. Got ooey gooey, soft and chewies. I give away four of those every Wednesday night, a small, a medium, a large, and an extra large. Also give away tarot decks and oracle decks, yeah, every Wednesday night. This Wednesday on the 1st, 5 p.m. Eastern, we're giving away the Tarot Grand Lux, which I have modified. I cut this thing down so it fits in the hand real nice. I love the backs. I love, I love Cyril Marchetti, amazing artist, you know. These cards are definitely a little big. I mean, they're as big as this box right here. But I definitely cut them down. They fit the hand real nice. Give this away. Here's a couple cards from my Pisces. Here's our High Priestess. Here's the Hangman. Love this guy's art. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, here's the Moon card. And our... Lover, you know, the one that makes the heart go boom, da boom, da boom, boom. That Knight of Cups. Also on Wednesday night, going to be giving away an Oracle deck that I've modified, the Whispers of Love. Going to play with that in just a minute right here. Why not? We're doing love reads, huh? If you would like to join us on Wednesday night, hit that join button right there. If you can't find the old ghostly join button, down below every one of my videos is a link in the description area that'll take you to that membership page. Pisces, let's play some cards right here, huh? This reading will be for Pisces. 
Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Let's start with the Whispers of Love Oracle deck right here. What do you got for Pisces Love Team? What do you got right here? <clears throat> Look at this. Honesty is essential. Well, ain't that about the truth? Yeah, I'd like to see a successful love relationship that there is no honesty. Hmm. Honesty is essential. Maybe somebody's figured that out, huh, Pisces? Maybe. What else do we got right here? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Pisces got the true love card. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Pisces got true love right there. Yeah, now I put all these uh, as the titles for my uh, reads this month. Who else got that true love card right there? Oh, no. You tell me. It's listed. You may want to go check them out, see what the titles are. We got Honesty is Essential and True Love. Gorgeous, gorgeous deck right here, by the way. Here we go. This reading will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. A little look-see at love right here. We all know these can play out vice versa. We all know if we see ourselves in these stories. We all know if we see our friend in these stories right here. So let's fire up our intuition, psychic abilities, huh? Hey, love team. Let's tell Pisces what they need to know most for their highest good. Four pinnacles jumped out right there. That's somebody holding on to you with their heart chakra. Yeah, feeling closed off. Then they want a passion, a new beginning. Ace of Wands. Yeah. Oh, somebody that Pisces probably closed the door on right there. Probably because they weren't honest. Anyway, tell love team. Let's tell Pisces what they need to know most for the highest good. I want to thank you for clarity, accuracy on my part. Help me see, help me speak. What I need help Pisces see and hear what they need out of this reading today. Let's take all these amazing pictures. Let's put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Pisces highest good. Thank you so very much for that love team. I cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guys. Here we go, Pisces, cutting the deck. Gonna be here for a minute. And if you know rambling, you know I'm giving you a nice full spread. Here we go. First card out. Well, we got the Emperor showing up right here. Sacred masculine energy straight up in Pisces' heartbeat of their Celtic cross. It's Aries seated in his power. The old Emperor right there. Mr. or Mrs. Stubborn. Mr. or Mrs. My Way or the Highway. Hmm. Looks like they got their world in their hand right there. Looks like they want a, a new world. Maybe the sun hasn't been shining all that brightly in the old emperor's world right there. I noticed they got their armor on. It's because they've been through a battle. Let's see what crosses over top of the emperor right here, Pisces. Well, I got the queen of wands. Got the Queen of Wands showing up here. There's a lot of fire here. There's a lot of fire here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Now, I mean, if this is your energy, the old Queen of Wands, you know, because that's somebody that's good looking, exciting, passionate, the life of the party, magic, they have the black cat. They're definitely involved in the esoteric. Not afraid of it, that's for sure. And the old Queen of Wands energy, you know, is she knows her worth or he knows his worth. I don't see gender with these. But if you don't show this amazing person how amazing that they are, huh, Pisces? They'll move on. They'll let the emperor go and play in the highway over there by himself. Mm -hmm. Let's see where we go right here, Pisces. No Queen of Wands energy right on top of the emperor. Here we go. 
Hangman at the base of the spread, my old Pisces card. I, I really feel that uh, the old emperor right there just wasn't showing Pisces how amazing that they were. A lot of passion, the emperor and the queen of wands, no doubt, man, there's passion between these two, but, but Hangman, you know, stuck in the old Hangman's tree. But you know, Hangman's about getting a new perspective and looking at things in a new way. Maybe it's the emperor, you know, maybe the coins flipped right here. Let's see, we've got a lot of cards coming out. The moon card came out. A major arcana, Pisces. And you know, what that means to me would be how the other person might be thinking about their Pisces, you know. The old moon card, you know. Following somebody or something that was intriguing to them. But, uh, you know, I mean, you know the moon, come on, not not being straight up and some smoky trail. Towers. But maybe somebody's looking at it anymore like, damn, the sun was shining in that land. Maybe I want to go down that trail again. I don't know. Pisces be like, I don't know, man. That queen of wands, you better show up right. I know that, huh? Yeah, honesty is essential. I keep looking at these cards right here. And the old true love card, Pisces. Here we go. Could be the old eclipses affecting this person too. I'm trying to, I'm trying to pull more cards here. Crown in the spread, somebody, somebody standing by the old river of tears. I'm not sure if it's Pisces, could be, you know. It could have led you down the old river of tears right there. Kind of feel it's them, because that's their moon card, kind of feeling shit, man. I blew it, man, the sun shining in that land over there, and I kind of left my Pisces in that hangman tree. I think somebody got their cups spilled right here. We'll see as the cards come out, huh? You know, it's a water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. I really feel that, you know, the moon card, that maybe somebody got their cups spilled out there. It's a rough world, huh? You know, two cups behind them right there. You know, true love. You know, in the tarot. They want to turn around and pick up those two cups and go over that bridge over troubled water, back up to that high vibration castle right there. Where, you know, the Queen of Wands lives. Let me see. Here we go, man. Coming out in the immediate future, I got two of wands, fire energy. Somebody knowing the path that they want to go down. It's about a crossroads. It's about somebody deciding where they want to go. They need to let go of another wand right over there, though. The old cup spiller. For some reason, man, they may be hanging on to a cup spiller. You know, the old emperor been in the battle. That, 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 that'll spill your cups. Hmm. Wearing that armor. The old two of wands, should I stay or should I go? I don't think this has got Pisces at all. Pisces is just rocking it as the queen of wands. Ten of swords came out. Ten of swords, this energy right here, this is the sun in Gemini. And, uh, you know, it's the moon card right there. I could say that both of you would like this very painful cycle to end and a new day to dawn. And it is a 10. There's a challenging cycle that's gone on between some soulmate, twin flame, life partner, whatever this is right here. And it's because 10 swords, you know, and, and honesty, that, that, that card keeps showing up, you know. 
somebody was, you know, playing on the old Moon Street right there. But shit, I swear they got their cups spilled. They got their cups spilled. They want to go to a new world. The old two of wands is looking at the emperor, looking at the queen of wands. Ten of swords, man. It's nice about the ending of a very painful cycle and a new day dawning. Bam, here it comes, Pisces. The fool card jumping out. That's Aries. It's also Aquarius. It's Uranus, the planet of sudden change. Somebody's going to take a leap of faith. Look, they're all looking at the emperor and that queen of wands right there. The fool, they jumping in that direction. Two of wands, they're looking at a new world. The emperor looking at a new world. And here come, here come the fool, you know. And the, and, the, and the people be looking at him, you know. Look out, you're going to step off the cliff. But the fool's always like, well, I was landing my feet anyway. Okay, sirrah, sirrah, whatever it'll be, it'll be. Geronimo, here I go. Somebody's going to take a leap of faith right here, Pisces. I don't know if they feel that they, they got a shot with you. You know, the moon card, ten of swords, left my Pisces in the hangman tree. They've been at a crossroads for a minute. But I swear they got their cups spilled right there. Five of cups. I want to take a look at the two cup energy. Hermit came out. Major Arcana yet again. It's Virgo. It is that card about going down and doing the inner work. You know, normally uh, people go down and do that inner work. When they've been standing by the river of tears. I, I I mean, I don't think this is your five of cups because Pisces has been goddamn hangman tree right here for a minute in this situation. So this is somebody going down on the inside, you know. This is all spiritual shit, man. Somebody doing some inner work. Somebody taking a look at themselves. Found a star down inside of themselves. That, a star of great hope, great faith, the potential of their dreams to become reality. It's about astrological alignments lining up for somebody. Got a lot of eclipses. Right now. i seen an eclipse right there. That's an eclipse when the sun's blocked by the moon. We got one more coming up. Third one coming in here, man. <laughs> here we go. What do we got? Got the old two of pentacles right there. The old dance of change. Boy, this old emperor is just stubborn right here, man. Stubborn, Pisces. Two of pentacles, you know, that is the dance of change for me. Shows my two ships up on top of the sea. The seas are rough and the sails are tattered, but those ships have never sank. And, and those pinnacles right there, they've never hit the ground because there's an infinity symbol around them. And somebody's still torn. Should I stay or should I go? They're going to take a leap of faith right here. I really think that they need to just drop the sword on who's ever been spilling the cups. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck right here. There it is. There it is. Eight of Cups coming out, Pisces. Somebody walking away from something that's no longer emotionally fulfilling to them. Heading out to go find their ninth cup of wish fulfillment. Freaking devil behind that. You know, that's karmic energy. That's the lovers. And again, that old eclipse showing up right there. And the devil's about releasing yourself from some self-imposed bondage. The dance of change right here. And, you know, going inside and doing the work. Because of four pinnacles. Yeah, they've been holding on to you with their heart chakra. we feeling closed off. And these two that jumped wanted to come play in the reed. Ace of Wands. They want a passionate new beginning. Like I told you right there, this queen and the emperor, if they have anything in common, it's passion. <laughs> it's
Here we go, Pisces. This is definitely one of those true love story right here, huh? Yeah, these old lovers, man. They come play with each other lifetime after lifetime, don't they? Uh-huh. And they learn, they learn, man, that honesty is essential. See, somebody, somebody needs to take a mask off, don't they? I like it. I like it. Here we go. Let's play with the witch's tarot on this for Pisces, please, love team. Why is the emperor and the queen of wands here on this spread? Thank you. Eight swords. Means somebody's got them. They feel like they're in the jailhouse. You know. They don't be liking who they locked down with if they're still locked down. They don't like it. Eight swords, they all up in their head. They all up in their head. Should I stay or should I go? Pisces be like, I'm fine. I'm good, man. I'm good. Because <laughs> I don't want you coming back in here with your eight swords. I don't want you coming back in here with your moon. Just stand there by your river of tears. I'm good. They're not going to stand by the river of tears, Pisces. They're not. They're, they're going to jump right here. But they all up in their head right now. Feeling, feeling stuck like Chuck in that broken down truck. Hangman for Pisces. Why is it here? Well, the magician, the magician says, uh, I'm not going to stay in this hangman tree. Thank you very much. Uh, it's Mercury, definitely about communication. It's all about new beginnings from a Pisces, you know, and the thought process right there of the hangman. Definitely out manifesting new beginnings all around for yourself right now, aren't you, Pisces? I like it. You, you cut yourself down out that hangman's tree. And you know, magician's always about as above, so below. Let's not forget about this with all this true love floating around in all this. As within, so without. We got the magician. Pisces been manifesting new beginnings for themselves. Here we go. Moon card. Five swords. Yeah. Oh, shit. See? Yeah, they got a cup spill, five swords, you know. What you sow is what you're going to reap. So if they sowed five swords, which is, you know, manipulation and control and just being a problem. I'm trying not to cuss. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, they got what they sowed. But five of swords on, on, you know, on the high, high, high end of that means that they've decided to stand up and do what's best for them. Which would be to communicate with their magician right here about a passion, a new beginning, ending a very painful cycle. It's been very painful. Ten swords and five swords, probably on both sides. Eight swords. Oh man, they're all discombobulated, man. Whew, Pisces, you got them all up in the head, man. Whew, five of cups. Oh, stand at the river to turn around. Pick up the two cups. Yeah, the devil. That's the devil card. Fifteen. Again, the devil card. Yeah, they got the damn cups spilled, by the way. That's pretty obvious to me. And the devil's about releasing yourself from some self-imposed bondage. See over here, it shows them walking away from it. This is in the future. They're going to walk away from this devil right here. This, because of uh, the, the they can't release you from their heart chakra and, they, and the passion, you know. And the devil and the passion, you know. They, they're heading out to go get their ninth cup of wish fulfillment. What's the Pisces right here? Two of Wands. 
Two of Wands, the old crossroads. Why is it here? Why is it here? And the, and the moon card came out. You know, and that's about secrets. And they probably don't want you to know that uh, they've got eight swords and they feel trapped where they're at and all this fucking secret shit going on around here. They don't want you to know about it. But I mean, Pisces, man, you guys are tuned in, man. I ain't telling you nothing you don't already know. I know that. They don't. <laughs> But, I, you know, this fire is burning in their heart. And that's like those wolves are like sacred masculine energy for me looking down that old trail right there. You know, be like, oh, shit. Hell <laughs> fire burning in my heart. I, I know that sun shines in that land over there. <laughs> Damn it. I wish, I wish I'd been better to them, man. <laughs> You know, that's because they try and put that fire out. Good luck with that. If you're playing with one of these relationships right here, these would take a couple lifetimes to put together. Good luck putting that fire out. Good luck. Ten swords. Why is it here for my Pisces? I like this thread, you know. Let them figure it out. Two Pinnacles, yeah, the old dance of change right there. That Two Pinnacles out of this deck always talks to me about Kundalini energy. Generally, when these two meet up, they fire off the Kundalini energy on the insides of themselves. Sacred Feminine, uh, you know, dare I say, who's a little more enlightened. They, they have a tendency to use that kundalini energy much more efficient way though focus on themselves their health their wealth their career their spirituality whereas the other sacred masculine energy you know the one that likes to play on moon street right over here they don't know what to do with that amazing energy on the inside of them many times they'll just take and try to paint the town red but i mean that's all you can do with that energy. Uh, who the hell can't go paint the town red? It's like, really? really? Oh, okay, that's what you did. But I see the old two of pentacles right there, you know, and that always talks to me, the boy, oh man, and, and the devil showing up twice, the old obsession, <laughs> the ace of wands. <laughs> like I said, if these two have anything in common, it's passion, man. And they are not going to be able to uh, hold that passion back from what I see right here. I mean, I'm blushing right here. What do we got, man? What do we got? That's the death card came out. And uh, it would go on top of the, the fool card right there. Scorpio energy. <sighs> yeah, um, there's a death to something in their world. <laughs> And it's um, going to lead him to a leap of faith and a major transformation in their life. Wow, man, the death card on top of the fool with the hermit. Because somebody's been doing some winter work on the inside of themselves. I swear they are releasing themselves from self-imposed bondage. A damn cup spiller that's in their world. Well, Pisces is just chilling, rocking it as the old Queen of Wands energy and the Magician right here. I tell you, I, I know what I'm looking at. Here we go. Permit, why they here? <laughs> Five of Wands came out. They don't want to fight or argue with my Pisces anymore at all. Kind of feel they're nervous. The, there's competition for their Pisces. That's a moon card. They're nervous as nilly, man. They know they need to release a, a karmic situation or they're going to lose their two cups. They know it. I swear to God, this is panic mode almost. 
Oh my God, I'm gonna have to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Two of Pentacles. Why is Two of Pentacles the old dancer crowning this spread? Because <laughs> they're not going to be dancing by the seashore much longer. Because there's a tsunami of love coming in to hit them right in the back of their head right there. Boom! Princess of Cups. Hi, Pisces. I brought my cup. <laughs> Doosh! Right there. Oh, Lord have mercy. What do we got, bottom of the deck? Two of Cups. A new beginning between soulmate, twin flame, life partner right here. But they need to come in straight, don't they? All this fucking devil. I believe they're going to. The old dance of change is right here, man. King of Swords came out, you know. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but I, I feel that King of Swords energy is going to be about communication. It's going to be about Pisces, huh? Being able to make those head over heart decisions and do what's best for you because if they don't come in with six pinnacles, which is equal give or take, uh, Pisces is probably going to drop that sword quickly. That's what I'm seeing right here, Pisces. Queen of Wands right there again, man. She knows her worth. And if she's not showed how amazing she is, she'll move. I like it, man. It's absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful, man. In my opinion, I'm a love story. It's a beautiful love story right here. All right, what do we got? Wow, material world jumped out. You know, and these two... You know, when they figure out this love game, you know, it's all about changing the vibration on Guy if you're playing one of these games right here. And you can't outgive the universe, and these are challenging to put together. Challenging. And if you put them together and you maintain it, and you raise the vibration. Other people, you know, around you, you get all that sparkly mojo when you're getting it figured out. You know, because vibration is contagious. High vibration is contagious. Low vibration is contagious. And material world, you know, power couple. The universe, you cannot give the universe. Let's just tell you that. Material world came out right here. Doesn't surprise me with these two. Here we go. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, something flipping around right there. Unawakened came out. See? I don't know if that justifies anything, but this is them. This, I told you this is them waking the hell up. I told you, I told you that Kundalini is just like boom. Oh my God! Uh, they, it's their awakening. They're awakening to the fact that uh, <laughs> you, 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 the one, you, the one, man, and that they need to be honest and straightforward. Because if they don't, then that's what they get back: five swords and ten swords. Yeah, you know. Fuck, man. Woo! Right there, boy. Somebody. Somebody going through it right here. Yeah. That'll wake you up in a minute when you wake up to the devil in the morning. Oh, Lord, the devil's still here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. When I could be having sweet, 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 sweet. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh yeah, that'll wake you up in the damn morning right there, man. Uh huh. <laughs> what do we got, man? Oh, come on, Pisces. Come on, man. I'm not talking you into anything, Pisces. You do what's best for you. This is a love story here, man. Mirroring. See all that right there? I don't want you mirroring them. If this is resonating with you. I want them mirroring you. Huh. Huh. I want them mirroring you. Huh. 
They are. This is the beginning of that. You know, that's the beginning of a spiritual awakening and apologies and all of that. It's source hitting them right in the pumpkin head, man. I'm telling you, boom. It's nice. It's nice. It's what you wanted. Well, it's what some Pisces wanted. Some Pisces threw in the towel on this thing a while ago, man. Here we go. What do we got? What do we got? Love cards for Pisces. Attraction, you know, and this card for me is about not focusing on the past. The past ain't nothing but a vibrational memory anyway. And if we reach back there, all we're grabbing is an old vibration and bringing it into our now, bringing a low vibration into our now. And that's all we have is now, you know, be in the now, be in the moment. Don't, don't be focused too much on the future. Well, it's got to come together like this and that and the other thing, Mike. Well, source higher self they can see you higher and around corners and shit definitely you know it's attraction i mean there's a strong attraction here between these two somebody had to go through this shit to figure it out though you know but i mean that shit can turn you into the magician huh pisces i know I know Pisces has been through this, what they going through. Because what you sow is what you're going to reap. So you can't touch a beloved and get away with it anyway. You know, there is no injustice. It's all vibration. Don't want to talk about that too much. That makes people nervous. Especially those that don't understand. I love cards on this. Oh, Pisces. I don't even want to show you. Oh, shit, man. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I like that because there's an end to that game, man. You know, it's the old divine timing. Divine timing. But, you know, someone needs to learn to be straight up. Period, man. Don't they? Codependency came out. There's the old devil. Third time devils came out right here, man. You know, shit, I don't know what they're dealing with, the shadow work and unawakened codependency. It's, it's a good thing they have been away from you if they've been away from you. It's a good damn thing they've been away from you. Thank the gods. More, please. Playfulness. Uh-oh, Pisces. <laughs> Playfulness came out right here. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Your inner youthful spirit of fun. <laughs> okay, all right. I love the I love this love story, man. It's absolutely gorgeous, man. You need to write a book. Here we go. What do we got? Major here for Pisces. Got the Hermit came out. Virgo energy again. And Hermit, you know, he don't move fast. He don't move fast. You know, he's all about going inside and doing all that inner work. That's what needs to be done right here. Shadow work right here. Uh, you know, I want you, you know, and it's about astrological alignments lining up and about people being led and guided. Where they're supposed to be, you know, well, shit, where they're supposed to be, what you signed up with before you came here into this free will zone. You still got free will, you know, regardless of all this. You can do whatever you really want to do. It is your life, you know. Hermit right there. And, uh, wow, man, justice came out. It's Libra energy. That is the balancing of karma. I got two hermits right here. So I would say both of these people have been working on themselves. Uh-huh, mirroring, you know that. Pisces is probably leading the game here, though. Oh, Pisces. Two hermits, everybody. Everybody wanting to follow the light that's in them. You know, and justice came out. Which is a, it's a balancing card and all these two pinnacles and all that. I mean, it's still a journey unfolding, no doubt about it. But justice is about, you know, 
staying balanced, the, 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 the balancing of karma coming in here for you. There was definitely an injustice in this love arena, no doubt. I'm not trying to talk you into keeping something, you know, especially if they're a the narcissist and all that shit, five of swords. I'm not just reading cards. It talks about justice and balance coming in here from my Pisces. It does say, you know, don't be all up in your heart and don't be all up in your head because, you know, they got the old heart and the brain right there. Nice love story, man. I really enjoyed it, Pisces. Hope you did, too. I love you, Pisces. Namaste, my friends. Love and light. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.